there is one behavior in perplexity ai that annoys me a lot so i have this transcript from my video about how to build a perplexity api automation on mac.com and this video is about 19 minutes long so it is more or less a very long video and this transcript is i believe about 2000 words or maybe even 3000 oh, okay it is 3000 words so that's a lot of words and i want to summarize the whole video into several paragraphs for example now i'm going to copy this but if i paste the document right here on perplexity it will do this you can see that there is this document that has been created from the content that i just copy and paste into perplexity and it's becoming paste.txt this is something that will happen a lot especially if you are trying to put a lot of text in your prompting and you know people have been screaming about this problem for i don't know the last year or two and for some reason perplexity seems to be ignoring this problem perhaps because it's not a big of a deal and maybe not a lot of you actually are using a lot of text in your prompting which i i guess it's a fair way to say it but still some people are being annoyed by this behavior so how do you how do you deal with this problem well there are two approaches there is one method which is by using a chrome extension and then there is also another method which doesn't use an extra chrome extension to solve the problem it's something that is a lot easier to implement maybe less elegant but i personally using that method and it's a lot more reliable okay let me show you the two methods to solve this problem now i'm going to clear this first and the first method is by using a chrome extension called complexity so let's go to chrome web store and you have to search for an extension called complexity this is actually a very popular chrome extension among perplexity users because these extensions brings a lot of new features that wasn't there in perplexity and you know i think some people are using it to make perplexity even more useful like uh, for example they used to offer a new way to choose the ai model in perplexity although this particular feature is probably no longer as useful because perplexity has released a new update on its ui to allow users to select the ai model but anyway that's just one among many things that is available in complexity now after the plugin oh, sorry the extension has been installed it will open this welcome page you can click this to take you to the dashboard or you can also just click on the extension menu and then go to dashboard it's the same thing and then here you will see that there are many things that it offers there are uh, some modules that are still under development because perplexity has just updated their user interface and that's why the developer of this plugin has to manually update the code which is something that's going to be common when you're using this extension but regardless uh, there are a lot of features that i think a lot of you are going to find them to be useful now the one module that we want to use is called prevent file creation on page you can you know search this module among dozens others you can just you know just scroll down and find this module or you can also use the search feature to search for prevent file creation on page this is the one just enable it and after that let's go back to perplexity and you have to refresh the page because again there is a new feature that we just implemented into this page now there's nothing much change i just noticed that the color is a bit different here because it's the color theme of complexity but it's still the same more or less now if i you know if i copy this document again and if i paste control v it is still creating this document paste.txt now it used to work but now it doesn't work anymore but this is something that that's going to be common uh, a lot of times when you are using one or modules from complexity sometimes they don't work because perplexity might have updated the user interface and the plugin suddenly becoming obsolete so it's a common theme and that's why i said this is not as reliable as the second method now if this method works for you then good you can use it but if it don't then i guess you can try a different method using the second method that, that i'm about to show you okay now i'm going to remove this extension first 
Okay, let me refresh the page. And again, my goal was to summarize this video based on the transcript. Now, I'm not going to just paste the document. I'm going to just send this prompt, just a simple prompt. I'm going to send it. And of course, it's nothing. And maybe I will confuse. Wait, wait, there is no content here. And you're just wasting my time. But don't worry about that. Uh, we are going to add the document later. So let's go back again. I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to click on this button that says edit query. And then I'm going to, you know, just create a new line. And I'm going to press Ctrl V on the keyboard. And there you go. All the text is here. It's not creating a new document. It's not creating, you know, page.txt. It is something that you can see. You can edit if you want. And okay, this is very long. As I said, this is a 3000 word document. And if I click this button, the whole prompt, the whole text is being sent to Purpose the AI. And it's not creating that annoying document. And there you go. It's answering the question. Now, this is also true if you want to create a follow-up. You, you don't want to just copy and then paste because, again, the behavior will persist. It will create a new file. What you need to do is you have to, you know, uh, you know just send a very short text to Perplexity like, thank you. And then after that, you have to edit the prompt again and then you can send it again. But that's how you can actually do it. Okay, I'm going to edit this just to give you an example. Help me, uh, or maybe give me three bullet points from this. And I'm going to con press Ctrl V. Okay, that's very long. Let's hit enter. And as you can see, it is a very, very long document, but it is not in a separate .txt file. It is a part of the prompt that you can always go back, change and modify. And there you go. So it's really simple. That's uh, probably not very elegant, but again, much more reliable than the first method. So regardless of the, the method that you prefer, I think, I hope this video is going to help you to prevent the behavior of automatically creating a page.txt file when you are pasting a document that is very long on Perplexity AI. Now, if you find this video to be useful, then please consider subscribing to this channel and I'll see you on next video.